Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add my VR Pond Components plugin into your local VR projects or existing VR projects. The easiest way of course is to um, go head on to Unreal Engine Marketplace and search for VR Pond Components and install that to a local copy of your engine. Okay. If you want the, the latest and greatest um, updates, um, tested or not, you can head on to um, github.com and download the full source code. So github.com one Runeberg, Runeberg VR plugin. Clone or download the, um, the full source code or even fork it as you, um, as you see fit. Um, you, of course, you are also free. This is under the MIT license, so you're free to um, edit it as you wish. Okay. All right, so once you have the, um, the source code onto your local directory here, you should get something like this. So Runeberg VR um, U project, you should get a, a sample project from the source code um, showing you how to use the plugin. Okay. And let me just open up an existing VR project. So this is the um, existing VR project or um, a clean VR project that we created during the previous tutorial. And if you can remember, we created it, created it as a um, pure blueprint project and not a blueprint C++ project. So if your pro if your VR project is blueprints only, you need to for since we're using the um, source code version of the plugin, you need to first convert this to a C++ project, which I'm going to show you um, really quickly. If, however, your project is already um, in C++ um, or a C++ project, um, simply skip ahead a, a little bit on this um, this video. Okay, so. For those who have an existing blueprint only VR project, this is how to convert um, your project to recognize C++ code, all right? So what you need to do is just add new, new C++ class, just add a, a simple actor or any one of these, as long as it's not the non C++ class actor, so you can actually see the source code. So my actor, I'll just name it my actor CPP create class and just wait for it to come up. It will generate project files and open up um, Visual Studio for you as well. So yeah, you need to install obviously a um, copy of Visual Studio. I'm using Visual Studio 2015 Community Edition here and with all the C++ libraries in it. Okay. So then it will compile the source code. All right, so it'll come up with a um, starter code for an actor C++ class. Just close this Visual Studio here. Click yes to save. All right, if you click here, you'll notice a new folder called C++ classes and the name of your project and you should see your C++ class here. Okay, so that um, shows you um, really quickly that you've got a now have got a C++ enabled project. So just save that and close it. And now that your project is a Blueprint C++ project, we can now use the source code version of the plugin. So just what you need to do is um, simply copy the plugins folder. That's all you need from the um, GitHub repo and paste it here. So you get a copy. Let's just have a quick look in it. So you have Runeberg VR plugin and you've got source. So you can see um, there's no binaries here because um, the first time you run, re uh, enable your project or rerun your project, it should try to compile the plugin. Okay. Let's just do that now. All right, so it's saying that it can't find the binary copy or the, the, the .dll copy of the, um, the plugin. So it will ask you if you want to rebuild it. So just click yes. All right, so once that's um, compiled, 
you can quickly check on settings plugins head down to virtual reality and you should see that the, um, the plugin is enabled and installed and if you go to um, your pawn your VR pawn in this case I'm just gonna snap it in here and you can now add those um, VR component plugins so if you type in VR you should see the Runeberg VR grabber the movement component a uh, simple grabber component and the teleporter component so you can add on to um, add basic functionality onto your um, onto your VR project in the next few videos I'm going to show you how to um, use each of those individual um, components all right so just before we end this um, tutorial really quickly and we want to show you how to upgrade so if in the future you get a new version or you edit the, the source code if you go back to the source you should see a binaries and intermediate here um, all you need to do it's you need to close the, pro the project all right so if you have a new copy of the source code or um, made changes to it you need to delete the bin close your project delete binaries and intermediate back sorry and we run your project and then it will ha ask you again to rebuild them rebuild the dll file and that ensures that the um, new source code kicks in and that it's part of the build okay so that's it for uh, adding the um, the VR plugin into your existing projects whether it be a C++ or a blueprint enabled or blueprints only project all right see you guys on the next video cheers